and welcome back so in today's tutorial we'll be exploring on the flow designer and we'll be exploring on the features which got introduced as a part of uta release in service now uh, so let's get started we'll be looking into flow designer features today so let's jump into the flow designer first so that we can play around the same and the first and the foremost thing let's let's open some flow out okay so let's take this business approval flow hope this flow will be bigger okay perfect so first and the foremost thing uh, what we can do as a part of uta release we got a feature using which we can define the stages on the on the flow so what are the stages stages are like different components you can create different containers and you can define certain set of actions into that okay so for example you have a change management flow for an instance you consider you have a change management flow so you can create one stage for new uh, new state one for access one for authorize so it will have segregation of the process flow right how exactly it's moving uh, across the stand so for that what you have to do you have to just click on this three dots okay and you can see over your flow stages right and here you can define different type of stages okay so i will just give it a name as uh, stage 1 of the flow and then you have additional properties okay so here you can define what to do if if it's pending okay has not started if it's in progress and all those things out so we'll keep it as is so we have defined one stage we'll let's define one more stage i will give it a name as stage 2 2 and we'll save it out and you can also define how much duration each stage will will require in order to complete it entire path right so now we have defined two stages out now you can work around the stages right so if you hover over here on top of the activity so you can get an option called add stage right so you can simply click on add stage and if you click over here so you can see the drop down of the stages so i can give it as stage 1 so this is this belongs to stage 1 then the next one okay how uh, let's make it over here add stage okay and we can make it also stage 1 for an instance let's make the last one as stage 2 okay so this way you can uh combine certain actions out to can make one stage okay so how exactly it will be useful okay it's consider it's as a process formatter only so it will define the formatters right key what exactly this stage and if you go to this diagrammatic view right okay so you will be look you will be able to see it over here also so if you see you can see over here this is part of stage 1 then the, we have stage 1 then stage 2 if you want to def, you can also define the stages at this particular view also so you have to just click on plus and there is a stage icon and you can select the stage over here let's give it as stage 1 and we will make it done so this is how uh, this is an very interesting feature it creates a segregation right of of the flow within a flow we can say so this was the first feature okay which got introduced into uta release the second feature is let's let's jump into the actions okay so for example let's open an action let's consider um, add com comment action so whenever for for instance now currently i have opened the out of the box action but uh, most of the time we must be creating an actions right okay custom actions and what happens whenever a require new requirement came for one flow so whenever we create an action it will be used into multiple flows right and if for one flow we want to do some changes right so we are not sure what all flows will get impacted with that particular change right so over 
uh, to resolve this problem the second feature will come into existence right so what we have to do you can simply click over here three dots and you can see c related flows so what this particular action will do it will showcase you where all this particular flow is used uh, this particular action is used so this action is not used nowhere let us get some other action so for example let's take this add a pause okay so if i'm trying to modify certain things on this particular action so i can see related flows and i can see this particular action is used in a add a pause flow okay there can be there can be multiple flows which are associated with that particular action then you can be cautious enough to do the changes right or you can do uh, a required analysis before making the changes to the action so this is a second feature which got rolled out into the uta release and let's move to the third and my favorite uh, my favorite feature so using this particular feature out you can combine certain sets of action so you know when we are working with a flow right mm -hmm. so it's always it's always uh, better if we can define sub flows right if your flow is quite long so you can define sub flows which will make it uh, readable also also it will make it reusable component sub flow you can use multiple way uh, at multiple places right mm -hmm. so now you can achieve it from the flow itself so for example let's Let's take a flow. Add a user collaboration uh, with this action. I will go to flow, and let's take certain default SLA action. Okay, let's take this particular of uh, flow. So now there are tons of actions into this, and uh, tons of steps into this flow. And now if I want to combine certain steps and move it to the sub flow, so it's pretty easy to do now. what you have to simply do you have to just select on click on the select multiple option so what it will do it will provide you the, with the privilege to select multiple steps out so i want to make this particular this if statement and then wait for condition this entire loop i want to move to a, uh, i want to create a subflow out of it right so as soon as you select your it out you get a option over here called operations if you click on it operations okay it gives you a pop up which says convert action to subflow so this all this action will get combined and it will form a subflow out of it you don't have to do anything so i can give it a name as default sla subflow flow and i will not play around inputs and outputs and i will simply make click on convert to sub flow so what it will do it will combine all the actions out and create a sub flow out of it isn't it amazing right and then you can use that particular sub flow at multiple places out so for an instance if you think you have you have one flow and certain set of actions can be reused into different flow so you can simply create a sub flow out of it and then reuse that sub flow wherever it's possible right so as you can see now a sub flow got created out of it called a default as a sub flow and if we go to the flow so you can see those set of action got replaced with the sub flow now isn't it amazing so this are all the features which got introduced with respect to uh, flow design into uta release i hope you like this features out and please explore on this features this are really useful okay if you want to get notified with my future videos okay please subscribe to my channel so that you will get notified when a new videos are coming through okay till then stay safe stay happy and have a nice day ahead thank you